Hello and welcome to this course, Basics of Copyright Law. My name is Sham Balganish, and I'm a professor of law at the University of Pennsylvania Law School, where I specialize in intellectual property law. At the end of this class, you should be able to do a few things. First, you'll be able to, one, identify the basic elements of copyright. Two, describe and know what exactly copyright protects. Three, understand how copyright protects what it protects, and what exactly it means for copyright to protect something. And four, you'll be able to explain the limits and boundaries of copyright protection. That's what this course is designed to introduce you to. But it's also important for me to tell you at the outset what this course will not allow you to do and what this course is not a substitute for. The copyright system is a complicated system. At no point should your knowledge from this class be a substitute for your approaching a lawyer for legal advice when you have a real potential copyright matter. None of what I'm going to be able to tell you in the next several lectures will be a substitute for what a lawyer will be able to give you by way of practical advice. What this course is designed to do is to give you a basic level of familiarity in the language and terminology of the copyright system so that when you approach the lawyer, you will be able to understand what exactly the lawyer is talking about, or you'll have a basic sense of what to do in the interim period before you get to a lawyer. That's important to bear in mind. With that, let's jump into copyright law.